We got a handful of new large language model releases this week. DeepSeek once again, kind of shocked the world a little bit when they released two new models, DeepSeek version 3.2 and DeepSeek version 3.2 Special. Both are reasoning first models, which are built for agents. Here's a quick look at the benchmark comparisons. The difference is these were trained very cheaply and very efficiently, where these big guy models were trained very inefficiently and very expensively. And that is the reason so many people freak out about these deep seek models the french lab mistral released the mistral 3 family of models this week looking at the benchmarks they're pretty much on par with deep seek 3 1 and chemi k2 one of the big differences between this one and a lot of other model makers is all models are released under the apache 2.0 license so they're actually open sourcing these models you could run them locally you can do your own fine tuning on them you can pretty much do what you want with them but ai sort of sneakily mentioned that there's a new model model that's coming soon that they've codenamed garlic. We don't know much about this model though. We know they've got it codenamed garlic internally and we know it's performing well on the company's evaluations, at least compared to Gemini 3 and Opus 4.5 in tasks involving coding and reasoning. They're looking to release a version of garlic as soon as possible, which we think means people shouldn't be surprised to see GPT 5.2 or GPT 5.5 released by early next year. I've even heard rumors it could be coming out next week. I kind of doubt that.